Well, we are joined by Laura Morales, Professor of Political Science at the Université de Sciences Politiques in Paris. Uh, Professor Morales, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, why don't you tell us perhaps a little bit about the work that you're doing specifically in relation to shock? Yes, so within uh, shock, we're part of uh, uh, one of the work packages that focus on the activities of data communities. And in particular, uh, the team that I lead uh, works on the protection of a number of open science and open data uh, tools for the ethnic and migrant minorities uh, data community. And in particular, we have developed uh, what is called the Ethnic and Migrant Minorities Survey Registry, which is um, a tool that allows uh, to search uh, all of the surveys that have been conducted either specifically to ethnic and migrant minority subpopulations or that include uh, sufficiently large subsamples in general population surveys. And at the same time, we've been uh, generating a question data bank that is uh, specifically focused on the questionnaires of those surveys that are directed at ethnic and migrant minority populations with the aim of providing um, open science and open data tools that will empower uh, this data community, this research community, to find uh, the survey data that is useful for their own study of the incorporation, the inclusion, the integration of ethnic and migrant minorities across Europe. Could you perhaps walk us through it, walk us through the uh, uh, ethnic and uh, migrant uh, minorities my, uh, survey registry from the perspective of a researcher, how this might find uh, an application in their work? Yes, of course. So um, uh, let's imagine that you are uh, a researcher, whether it's a, a, an academic researcher or a kind of policy applied researcher, for example, in a, uh, in a think tank, and you're interested, let's say, in comparing what's uh, uh, the degree of inclusion or what are the challenges uh, for integration that, uh, for example, uh, migrants who are of uh, uh, Ukrainian origin, now that we have uh, this wave of Ukrainian refugees, encounter in different uh, locations. How does the local uh, setting affect, for example, to their capacity to learn the language uh, uh, of the country of reception quickly, to get a job, to access healthcare services. They can use uh, this online free uh, and fully accessible tool to find what surveys exist already. Uh, and let's say that you are uh, an organization that wants to conduct their own survey of uh, Ukrainians, for example, uh, in Poland or, or in Romania, then you can actually find all of the detailed information of previous surveys that have been conducted with Ukrainians and get the documentation, get the questionnaires and see if the way that certain questions have been asked previously actually matches your interest and whether you might want to be in the future comparing the results in your specific location with results of surveys in other locations to the same group. So that's one illustration of uh, a use that can be made of this uh, survey registry. Thank you very much. Um, looking at this in the greater context of other key initiatives uh, in the field, how do they relate to something like, for example, the uh, cost action on international ethic and immigrant uh, minorities survey data network? So um, actually the cost action was, uh, uh, in a sense, which, which I coordinated as well, uh, the sort of uh, uh, steering energy for our inclusion into shock. Uh, this network was uh, funded uh, by, by the Coast Association and brought together uh, more than 200 researchers from 35 European countries together who were particularly interested in, in the integration and the inclusion of ethnic and migrant minorities all around um, Europe. And it is this uh, data community and researchers working on the ground on the integration of ethnic and migrant minorities that felt the need for these tools that would allow us to understand, be able to find what survey data already exists, be able to sort of uh, create synergies with the data that already exists by uh, enhancing our comparative um, overview and where we found these gaps of uh, not being able to locate the surveys, not being able to reuse them and to access them. So the need for the tool uh, was uh, sort of brought in by this uh, network and Shock uh, provides us with the opportunity to actually do all of the technical development that now has sort of resulted in creating this survey registry that it's uh, online, uh, fully operational, and that now includes information for more than 1,700 surveys 
all across uh, these European countries. Well, impressive. Thank you. Um, perhaps to wrap this up, what top tip would you give to the researchers in SSH uh, when it comes to using shock tools and services? But I would really say that uh, Shock has produced a fantastic uh, uh, range and array of uh, different tools for all sorts of uh, uh, social science and humanities researchers. So tools that relate, for example, uh, to enhancing your capacity to understand uh, different types of text. Uh, so I am a political scientist. I also work with parliamentary speeches. And there's a fantastic set of tools that allow you to analyze parliamentary speeches with very dedicated data analysis and uh, sort of sharing uh, abilities. There's a set of tools that have been developed in the context of the European social survey that will enhance the future uh, capacity to improve uh, uh, surveys. And I would really encourage uh, uh, social science and humanities researchers to actually uh, go into the marketplace and search uh, for these tools, get to know about them, uh, look at the videos and the training materials. There's a lot of material there that will uh, provide uh, with a lot of uh, enhanced tools for the research and they will be able to learn a lot and do more with the research questions and the research data. Professor Laura Morales, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me.